How to capture a forfeit valgus and verus into a foam box cast. We'll be using the ICB AAM method for assessment and positioning in the foam box cast. In the supine position, use the line to check forfeit valgus and forfeit verus. Hand position is very important to allow the assessment to flow. Maintain the anterior line while assessing both forefoot and rear foot planes for forefoot varus and valgus deformity. Next, check your assessment with a protractor or goniometer to assess the degree of deformity in the forefoot. The correction should be half the measured amount. Refer to the Orthotic Solution Book, page 78, for a more detailed explanation. To create a forefoot block for the foam box, use an ICB pre-made forefoot 4 degrees or 6 degrees addition and trim to the size. The forefoot wedge or block can be used for both forefoot valgus and forefoot varus in the foam box cast. Commence by placing the EVA wedge in the foam under the fifth metatarsal head position. Once you've placed the forefoot wedge into the foam box cast, you can commence the casting procedure. Gently place the foot on the foam box. Use the anterior line to maintain neutral. Commence casting by depressing the foot anterior to posterior to break the foam. Depress the foot to the base of the foam. Whilst casting, you need to check the position of the foot. Maintain the anterior line in the ideal position. Removing the foot from the foam box cast is very important. So make sure that you lift the foot vertically to maintain the heel shape in the cast. Once the EVA wedge is removed, the forefoot block will become evident in the foam box. If captured correctly, forefoot and rear foot will sit on different planes and be clearly visible. The poured cast will now capture the forefoot deformity in the plaster. In this cast, the forefoot wedge or block has filled the gap between the forefoot and rear foot planes. The laboratory technician can now remove the forefoot block to reveal the foot shape and the gap that will need to be filled with the orthotic device. A major benefit of this casting method is that the practitioner has full control over the finished prescription. The lateral forefoot will appear thicker as it takes up the forefoot valgus in the device. Creating a forefoot varus in the foam box is similar to the valgus procedure. For forefoot varus, place the block under the first metatarsal phalangeal joint. Commence the casting procedure. Maintain the ideal or neutral position. Whilst maintaining the position, rock the foot anterior to posterior to break the foam and then make sure that you depress the foot completely to the base of the foam. Continue to maintain the alignment whilst lifting the foot vertically from the foam box. Once you remove the EVA block, the forefoot varus will be revealed in the cast. You can now proceed to pour the plaster cast. 